This debunks everything Android ship said about Apple Bench and Geekbench being biased towards Apple. Let, let, me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Just when I thought we had seen it all in 2024, the release of the iPhone 16 series, the X Elite, the Vivo X200 series, the Oppo Find X8 series, and the M4 MacBooks, Apple Intelligence, and everything that came up, something just came up. Hell, it deserves that moment. One more thing. I created the MacDose playlist on my YouTube channel because of how thrilled I was about running Windows 11 and its apps on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. But today, we are taking it a step further. We are now running, wait for it, Android. Yes, that is not a mistake. It is very real. It is as real as your click on my subscribe button. Just wait until you see those benchmarks and the gaming performance. That is a spoiler. As a matter of fact, I have something to say to all the Android sheep out there about the benchmarks and the gaming. You all know about the Bluestacks app on Windows, right? Well, if you don't, let me school you a bit. The Bluestacks app was one of the first apps on Windows for emulating Android apps and Android games, preferably games, on the Windows operating system. Today, we are thankfully alive to witness that same Bluestacks app that was on Windows now on Mac OS. Mac OS, which is currently ARM based, just like Android is. Oh yes, that's already a good start for the app. It's currently in beta, but let's get an inside view. First, it has a very welcoming interface and it's own built in App Store. Apart from the store, we get three system apps, Settings, Chrome, and the Google Play Store. The general first view and look is perfect, except for the fact that you can't take full advantage of your 16x10 display yet on the app's full screen mode. We also have gestures to close apps and shortcuts for the back and recent app buttons. You can also import APK files from your Finder or your native Mac OS. And also you can rotate between tab mode and Android phone mode. How about third-party app support? Snake peek, I thought you could run Netflix here, but apparently it seems not to even not the right as a device. But it's a beta, we can allow that, right? I have run a number of third-party apps on this Bluestacks Android emulator on Mac, and most of them were very compatible and very responsive which is very good news for a first beta the experience just feels very natural although some apps aren't compatible yet but the ones that are compatible to run run perfectly and very smoothly on a first gen apple silicon device how about gaming support i guess that's what most of you came for naturally i tried out asphalt 8 from the google play store and it's run beyond my expectations. As a matter of fact, that was the second game I tried, but that was like the first heavy game I actually tried. 60 FPS without breaking the sweat. And Asphalt 8 is by no means a low tier game because it can run on many low end Android devices as well. Okay, how about Outhouse Odyssey? Stunning performance. I like where this is going, honestly. And by the way, when you see those occasional frame drops, between let's say 60 to 58 to 59 maybe you can tell it's just from my screen recorder which is very perfectly understandable don't forget we are screen recording a retina display there's a lot of pixels to go around all right i like where this is going to be honest but i think it's time to bring out the big guns who's up for some call of duty mobile yeah uh, the suspense is killing me for this one how do we even get to play it Mm, a mouse and a keyboard, nice. Although the gestures used in controlling the screen movements are kind of very weird, but probably you guys would kind of walk around around that. Maybe connect a controller and see if you can like map out some keystrokes to that controller. And the game itself, that's like in the in-game, it seems to be up to 60 FPS also. I didn't check the graphics settings though. One of you should do that and get back to me. 60 FPS, mind-blowing. Mind you, this is an M1 Apple Silicon device, so you can imagine how all this is going to be on, let's say, the M3 or the M4. Of course, I'm too lazy to learn all this mouse gesture and keyboard controls when I can just touch the display of my iPhone to play the game or a normal thing. But you, on the other hand, should figure them out and report back to me. Good luck on your mission, soldier. you notice there is no About Device section in the settings app and honestly i needed to see 
what was under the hood, or at least what they wrote was under the hood. And you know, what Android version was used here. So I instead installed Geekbench 6 and guess what I saw? It identifies as a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, a very powerful one for that fact. Now what I expected to also is Android 13 which is very acceptable. I also ran a benchmark and this is mind-blowingly impressive. An M1 MacBook Air, M1, emulating an Android device that only accesses 4 of its 8 cores. And I doubt those four are the four performance cores, probably a blend of two performance to efficiency. But yet, it still scored better than a Google Pixel 9. I shouldn't be surprised though. Bluestacks is ARM and the Mac itself was also built on the ARM platform. So, of course, it was going to run fine. We said that from the beginning, right? Honestly, if I'm getting all this with just four cores, I am very curious to see what we can achieve with all eight cores, which is not recommended. But since you watched all this way, you deserve to see those results even if it means blowing my mark sky like wait for it wait for it and there it is my friends almost what we get on the native mac os geekbench 6 app do not forget this app we ran was built probably with android studio and it was run on an android operating system it had nothing to do with mac os but still we got this stellar results this debunks everything android ship said about Apple Bench and Geekbench being biased towards Apple, we literally just ran the Android version. It was compiled in an Android language and we ran it on Android on the Mac. And you can see the kind of scores you are getting. So you can never ever say Geekbench is partial sourced the you know, iOS and unfair source android and all of this was done with just four gig of ram four gig honestly i am really curious to see the performance of this blue stacks on the m4 max or the m3 max truly i am it's a beta it's blue stacks it's android on mac it's new for most users it's exciting finally now it feels like macs aren't completely boring anymore you can do way more with a work now that's progress that's a good thing mostly the point is if you have been trapped in a closed apple circuit all this way and you have had that occasional need for a good android device to run one or two stuff or an apk you found that's not in the app store you'd love this app just like you love what comes next when you click my sub button and thanks for watching as always i'm anti -Alt.